Okay, here we have my 3FUL pack. Now, it's a lightweight pack, but one of the caveats of this pack is you have to own a folding sleep mat um, to form some sort of structure on the back to give the bag some form. At the minute I've got a memory foam pillow in this and without any support it's very smushy. So if you had a load in there it's not going to carry comfortably, it's going to kind of bow on your back. If you've got lots of heavy smaller items they're all going to sort of wriggle their way to the bottom of the pack and the bottom's going to bulge out and um, it's just going to be a nightmare. So you have to own folding sleep mat. What if you don't own a folding sleep mat? What if you only own a roll mat? Well, I'm going to show you what to do now. And I think using a roll mat might even be better than a folding sleep mat. Okay, here we are on my roll mat. It's a uh, Firma Rest Ridge Rest Classic. These are a penny a dozen. Lots of people have got these. Now what I've done this mat is slightly wider than this is long, um, so what I had to do, I had to cut a little notch at the top, not a lot, so that this buckle here on the back of the bag sits in that notch. Now what we're going to do, we're going to fold this in half, 50-50, make sure your ends are even. And then you're going to roll it up tightly. Make sure the first screw rolls quite tight. And then you're going to take some strapping. You're going to tie it into a loop. Obviously, I wrap this around first. And you are going to wrap that strapping around your mat, keeping care that the knot's at the top. You want it root to be a snug fit. You don't want it so tight that you're going to damage your mat. You want it snug. There's a lot of give in these mats, obviously. Then going to roll the other side. Make sure the knot is at the top or the bottom, just not in the middle. I wouldn't recommend doing this with like cordage, paracord or anything like that because it might be a bit too thin, it might cut into the mat. Right, if you've done this right, you've got two little sausage rolls like that with a sort of equal number of rolls on both sides, same at the other end, and the notch that I cut here is in the middle, just like that. So, what we're going to do now is take the bag, notch at the top, knots at the bottom, if you haven't got these quite straight, you can realign them. They're not going to slip anywhere because the grooves sort of hold it on in place as long as you've done the strapping quite snug. Take the retaining strap. Let me do it with no twists. Twists, uh, twists get my OCD going. No one wants a twist. Behold. So you've got the strapping going round. 
you've got the notch there that little little loop there now I think this will actually be more comfortable to carry than a flat folding mat because you've got this air passage in the middle because one of the complaints I see all the time about this bag with a folding sleep mat is you get very sweaty back because at the end of the day sleeping mats are meant to keep you warm <laughs> it's weird I, I see them saying oh yeah no it's it's breathable it's like no a sleeping mat's meant to keep you warm it's going to make you hot especially if you've got it flat to your back with this this design you've got that groove all the way down the middle so air can flow and hopefully it'll give you a far more comfortable cooler carry let's try it on just to show you not really got the camera angle for this Backpacking knelt down. There you go. I did. I did experiment with different techniques, different rolling methods, different folding methods, and I found this to be the easiest and quickest. And obviously, I know it looks like a palava rolling it up, but it's it's one of those things. Oh, you've done it a couple of times. It's going to be second nature. You're going to be able to do it blindfolded. What do we think? Good idea? Bad idea? Um, I think it's definitely a good idea if you don't own a folding sleep mat, you only own a roll mat. Save yourself 20, 30, 40 quid, however much you want to pay. I know you can pay hundreds for these things if you want. Um, there we go. I think that's a bloody good idea. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. Until the next time.